Armored Core Law, Annihilator. While many a Raven may know this AC from the opening of Armored Core Master Arena, this AC got its name from fans, who have taken the name from an AC who looks exactly like this from the Armored Core Master Arena novel, written by Sami Shinozaki and illustrated by Taisu Matsuda. The novel tells the tale of Fritz Byrne, who lost his parents to the Armored Core known as Nineball as a child when Nineball was chasing down some terrorist MTs in a residential living area. Only an attack from Nineball would send one of these attacking terrorist MTs into the building where Fritz and his parents are escaping. This impact causes rubble to fall onto the parents, who push their son out of the way to save him. Child Fritz, recovering from falling down some steps, tries to dig his parents out, and as he does, Nineball watches nearby. The young boy cries out to the red AC to help him, but instead it turns its back on the boy and boosts off. This would be the start of Fritz's past the revenge against the Red AC, and while this novel and the game share the same story, the novel goes into more details about Fritz and his AC, his troubles, his journey as a raven, and the people he meets along the way. Along with this, we learn about the Annihilator, an AC created by Elan Cubis, for the purpose of first using it as a test, or the arena, on specific ravens. However, with Nibal targeting Progtech, the company he works for, he has decided he cannot fight without an AC that could match Nineball's capabilities. Plus, with Fritz, who Elan had deserved a friendship with, chasing Nineball, it seemed the perfect fit. Of course, Annihilator was not this AC's first name, as according to the novel, the AC was first named Earl Grey, after the T-series. However, Fritz would rename the Pitch Black AC Annihilator, as to him it would be the Armored Core to annihilate Nineball. The Annihilator here in the novel is the same one as shown in the opening of Armored Core Master of Arena, and seen as the one fighting Nineball in the opening as well. We know this thanks to an illustration in the book that lists the parts on page 135, and the small list of parts shown in the cutscene during the opening of Master of Arena. The main body of the Annihilator is made up of the head part, the HD 4004, the XXAS0 core, the AN25 arms, and the LN1001B legs. While inside Annihilator, it has the GBG10000 generator, a Tri-X Quad FCS, and the BVR33 boosters, making this AC middleweight, but only getting a fair rating in the Armored Core Master of Arena stat screen. As for the weapons, the Annihilator comes with its left back weapon, a triple barrel energy weapon, the WCIR24, the right back weapon, a vertical mortar launcher, the WMSMSS24, a left arm energy blade, the LS3303, and the right arm weapon, the famous WG1 Kawasawa laser rifle. It is quite the AC, but it is overweight. And while in game we again see little of this craft apart from the opening movie, in the novel Fritz will use this craft in the arena to defeat other ranking ACs, such as Lurker, a red four-legged AC, and Pandora Bomb, allowing him to climb from rank 8 to rank 2, and fight off Nineball who is attacking Protex headquarters. However, it's after this that Lana Nelson, his old manager, would call Fritz out to a facility outside of Isaac City, so he could finally battle Nineball. It's here Fritz and Elan chat in the AC garage about recent events, such as the loss of their friend, Vintage, and finding out that Nineball pilots, Hustler 1, may not even exist. Elan wants to come with Fritz, however the Raven knows the battlefield is no place for an R&D developer, and says this along with how he knows how Elan feels about their lost friend. With this said, Elan, however, does upgrade the Annihilator here, as his way of being there to bring down Nineball. These upgrades include swapping the old GBG-10,000 generator for the GBG-IXR. The LS-3303 is swapped for the prototype LSI Moonlight, and the legs are changed from the LN-1001B to the heavy LN-23 legs. In-game, this pushes the Annihilator to gain a great ranking in the stat screen, and it is a true powerhouse of a craft. It is with this updated Annihilator that Fritz would take down three Nineball ACs and finally Nineball Seraph. However, with this novel, there comes a sticking point between the colour of the Annihilator seen in Master Arena and the novel. As in game, it is said the dark blue of this craft is mistaken for black. However, in the novel, page 138, where Fritz becomes the pilot of this very AC, it reads Fritz looked up at the jet black AC. 
This is brought up here as there is a theory that the antagonist in Armored Core 2 by the name of Leos Klein is in fact the Raven from the Master Arena game. In this case in Armored Core 2, Leos AC is a dark blue colour, much like the Annihilator seen in the cutscene of Master of Arena. In game, the player, or in this case, Leos, does become Ninebreaker, ranking number one in the arena, while Fritz, with his AC, has to flee due to being hunted down by another Nineball, who also takes out Progtech. It may also explain the Human Plus factor, which is associated with the game's Annihilator, being able to be piloty even though it can't hold its own weight. A sign of Human Plus for AC pilots. However, this is even thrown into the air when in the opening of Armored Core Master of Arena, Annihilator kneels to fire its back laser weapon. Something a Human Plus Raven does not require to do. It is a rather back and forth argument, however do keep in mind that in the postscript of the novel, the author writes this. Even so, the details have changed a bit, so it's not exactly the same story as the game. So it is very possible, Leos Klein could have been the Raven of the Annihilator in Armored Core Master of Arena, but there is the Human Plus element too that may throw this back into a theory, since Leos can fire his back-mounted grenade launcher without kneeling in Armored Core 2, and as we've said, the Annihilator in the cutscene requires to kneel. Then again, in this cutscene, Nimble also kneels to file its grenade launcher, a step this AC does not require to do because it's an AI already with the Human Plus enhancements. Still as always, with such reports, let us finish by discussing what a Raven can expect if they hopped into the Annihilator seen in the game first, and then the upgraded Annihilator in the novel. To start, a Raven can expect the Annihilator to be a heavy hitter, but also an energy drainer. Make no mistake, with the WG-1 Kawasawa laser rifle, it is as deadly as it is fast. It makes quick work of most ACs, and MTs are a joke to such a weapon. The same can be said for its back two weapons. The back laser cannon, while slower than the Kawasawa, brings with it massive damage, if it hits. However, it does take a chunk of energy out in exchange. As for the WM-SMSS24, these are effective and do well with aerial and ground targets, but it's going to take more than a few shots from these to down a foe than using the Kawasawa. Really, this Annihilator is, well, it's a powerhouse to pilot. You can zip about, you can hover, and rain down laser shots upon your foe. However, a Raven is going to have to watch for energy, as if a Raven is zipping about and taking to the sky while firing, this AC will be running out of energy soon. It is a craft that can easily take out Nimble. Make no mistake, novel Elan was on the money, as this craft can go to toe with even a rank 1 Raven, blade to blade, if a Raven so desires. So what about the upgraded version? Well, this Annihilator is really just heavy and slow. It's more about defense than anything, but this Annihilator is still armed to the teeth with those powerful weapons. So being defensive and bulky, this is the craft Fritz used to defeat Nineball Seraph. And with that said, this ends the report on the armored core known as the Annihilator.